In the last lesson, we discussed how a polarizer can be used to polarize light. In this lesson, we will take a look at the polarization by reflection off of a non-conducting, non-metal surface. Polarization by reflection is actually complicated, so we will just talk about its outcome. Let's look at an unpolarized light beam getting reflected by this horizontal surface. An unpolarized light has the electric field oscillating in all directions perpendicular to the velocity of the beam. Because an electric field in any of these directions can be broken into two components, one in a direction in and out of this page, and another direction parallel to this page. We can think of this unpolarized light as a mix of these two polarized light. It turns out that this in and out component gets reflected just fine, but the component that is parallel to the page can be much weaker in the reflected light. This means the reflected beam is partially polarized in the in and out of the page direction. The extent of this polarization depends on the incident angle and the material of the surface. At a special angle called Brewster's angle, this parallel to the page component does not get reflected at all, which means that the reflected light is completely polarized. This means that the reflected light off of a horizontal surface has a strong horizontal electric field component. When we are outdoors on a sunny day, a lot of the light that enters our eyes are reflected off of horizontal surfaces such as water, road, or snow. So sunglasses made of vertical polarizers can help us block the strong horizontal component of reflected light. Here you can see light being reflected off of various surfaces. The reflected light is polarized by different amount depending on the angle of reflection. For the horizontal tabletop, the reflected light has a strong horizontal component. You can see the effect of polarization through this pair of polarizer sunglasses. Right now, the polarizer is in the vertical direction, so it blocks the strong horizontal component of the reflected light. If I rotate the polarizer to the horizontal direction, it lets the strong horizontal component of the reflected light through. 